He served his country with pride, only to be devastated when he came home. His house is trashed, no room untouched. Tonight, the disrespectful destruction left behind and how it's put a strain on plans to move his family back into town. He started six with what a local soldier discovered when he walked into the house he hadn't spent much time in lately. He had just come back from a tour of duty on the West Coast to find a place totally trash and items he dropped off the night before when the house was fine, gone. Now this is a story you'll see only on 10R. Jason Marks was given access to show us the damage. Yeah, Tom, take a look at this. I mean, take a look at the sink, and you can see this right here. This is just cracked in two. And then take a look at the toilet. Lance is going to step back a little bit. We have some tight quarters, but you can see this is just a microcosm of what this entire house looks like. Every single room was damaged. And as you mentioned, this is a military family who's now left cleaning up the pieces. This isn't the homecoming Alalio Mestre thought he'd get. This is ridiculous. But this is the way his days are now spent. It took me about an hour just to clean this side. The broom will only do so much. Feels like I'm drowning and there's no way to, like I forgot how to swim or something. That's what it feels like. That same feeling you get when you're just underwater and you don't, you just can't reach the top. Mestre left his home on Banyan Drive three years ago when his family was transferred to an army base in Seattle. You know, and I've been to very bad places in the world and I've never felt this bad in my life, never. But the staff sergeant couldn't wait to get back here. Like this is um, one of the closet doors right here, just torn. That feeling now is much different. Every, every room, every crevice of the house, they, they did something to it. Wednesday night, someone broke through a downstairs window and left their mark everywhere you turn. It's upsetting to me because I even called the insurance company. They said they, because I wasn't here for 30 consecutive days, they might not be able to cover me. To make matters worse, Mestre's wife is also in the Army. She and their four children will soon be moving back here too. That's a good Thanksgiving gift to give my family, you know. Hey, welcome home to, you know, to this. Most military homecomings are met with family, flowers, or balloons. But for Mestre, this isn't that. We do crazy stuff to keep the civilian population from doing crazy stuff. You know, so, I mean, I don't expect the people that we defend to do stuff like that for us, you know. And most likely in this case, the suspect are teenagers. That's the theory of the neighbors here in the area. Just a big mess. I can tell you that uh, the insurance company right now is saying they might not be able to cover any of this because Mestre hasn't lived in this house for 30 consecutive days, so that could be a problem. Also, there has been a fun set up uh, for the family, but yeah, just a big mess, and they're just starting the cleanup process. And that's the latest here at Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And we have that information on how you can help and tips on securing your home if you ever have to head out on deployment. Go to wavy.com.